Wow. <laughs> this is really good. This is a gingerbread espresso martini. Mm. <sighs> Delicious. Um, yeah, wow. <laughs> Can I get all jittery? Mm. Gingerbread, it's all about gingerbread this season. And I did my best attempt to make some gingerbread cookies. <sighs> they, they almost turned out. <laughs> but <laughs> that icing thing, I don't know how they do that. It is not my forte. I mean, I mean really, look at this guy. Look, look at his smile. What happened? What, do you have a stroke? Ah! Mm. Yeah, I could wash them down with uh, my gingerbread espresso martini. This contains the gingerbread syrup that we'll be making today. Mm. The recipe for this cocktail is in my newsletter on Patreon only available there. So check out my Patreon page and become one of my patrons. There's lots of cool stuff there that only patrons see. Let's do this. Okay, let's get some fire going here. Whoa, we got fire. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dry roast some uh, spices first. I've got two tablespoons that have already diced and peeled uh, uh, of fresh ginger. Okay. Two cinnamon sticks. Just gonna break them up here. Throw those in. All right. What's next here? Oh. Then we have a quarter teaspoon of uh, allspice berries. That's about eight to 10 allspice berries there. Yeah, throw those in the pot. I've got six whole cloves in the pot. And a half teaspoon of whole peppercorns. So what we're gonna do basically is just dry roast this just to bring out the flavor. You wanna dry roast until it, well, kinda smells like Apple pie. <laughs> I'm starting to smell it a little bit. It just takes a minute or so. Can you smell it yet? <laughs> I think we're there. I'm smelling it. Oh yeah, it's beauty. Now we're gonna add two cups of water and it's gonna splash up like 90, so stand back! <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. I've got three quarter cups of brown sugar. This is delightful sugar for sure. Beautiful. I'm just gonna stir that in there. Mm -hmm. I got fancy molasses. <laughs> fancy molasses. I wonder where they keep the regular molasses, the non fancy kind. <laughs> Speaking of molasses, it was back on January 15th, 1919, when the great Boston molasses flood killed 21 people and injured 105. This was after a massive 50 foot high steel tank holding molasses ruptured. What we're talking about here is 2.3 million gallons of molasses, a giant brown wave moving at 35 miles or 56 kilometers per hour, busting windows, overturning rail cars, and sweeping buildings into the Boston Harbor. The wave was 25 feet or over 7 meters high and 160 feet or over 48 meters wide. This thing was huge, a tsunami of molasses rushing through the city's densely populated North End, and they say, slow as molasses. Ha! You need molasses for gingerbread. We want three tablespoons. It's thick stuff, man. Whoa. <laughs> I love it. That is thick stuff. It's really fancy. <laughs> All right. I want a quarter teaspoon of some sea salt here. That's pretty good. Throw that in there. Keep stirring. And finally, some fresh grated 
nutmeg. One and a half a teaspoon. Cool. Throw that all in there. So basically what we're doing is reducing our mixture. I think I'm there. So what you want to do is just turn your stove off here, pop her on your hot plate. Ooh, look at that, baby. Pop a lid on and let it cool just a little bit because we're going to add a couple other ingredients now. So we've just let this cool just a hair. Whoa, <laughs> not much. What we want is a half an ounce of uh, fresh pressed lemon juice, which uh, this is a small lemon here. That's about it right there, I'm thinking. Yeah. And two teaspoons of vanilla extract. This isn't the artificial stuff. This is the real deal, baby. Organic. <laughs> Have an organic Christmas. <laughs> and just give it a little stir here. It smells so good, it really does. All right, so I'm just gonna pop the lid on there and um, I'm probably gonna let it cool to room temp, probably take about an hour, okay? I'll see you in an hour. Okay, it's bottling time. This thing is cooled down now very nicely. Oh yeah. Wait, we need to set the mood. I feel like Charlie Chaplin again. <laughs> okay, what we're gonna do is, uh, we're just going to uh, double strain this, or strain it out. Not double strain, but just strain it out. Yeah. Okay, enough. Aha! <laughs> ah! Okay. Uh, two town. <laughs> two notes, man. Two, two, two notes. Anyway, okay, let's bottle this thing. You want to leave a little room at the top. For some Kraken. <laughs> nice little uh, spiced dark rum. Uh, about a half an ounce. Yeah. Eh, preserves it a little bit. And you'll get it at least a month out of this. At least a month in the fridge, but it won't last that long. That's how delicious this shit is. Um, let's try some, eh? Oh, Christmas in a glass. <laughs> mm. Wow. Much better than these. Uh, you know, make uh, some gingerbread uh, syrup. Psst. Psst. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, buddy. No. No, stupid. Down at the plate. Down at the plate of gingerbread man. Oh. Hey. Huh. What the hell? <laughs> you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. I mean, really. <laughs> How much have I been drinking? Oh, my God. Uh, which one are you? I'm the one that can talk, dumbass. Oh, look how cute you are. Cute? I'm your worst nightmare.
Thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit that subscribe button down there. It doesn't cost you anything, and you'll be supporting us. How wonderful would that be? Thank you.